Hi, I'm Jamie and I'm from Tree Savers. I'm going to show you how to release your beetles today. So this is how they would arrive in your box. They're in a the little deli container with a screened lid. And this is so that they can get some air. And on the very bottom, there'll be this piece of gauze. And as you can see, there's some condensation in here. Um, that's because the gauze is to keep the beetles moist on their shipment to you. And these on the side are honey strips so that they have a little bit of nourishment without us having to ship on hemlock woolly adelgid. So when you receive your package, you're going to want to check the lid and make sure there's no beetles like this one here. And kind of gently tap the bottom so they disappear back inside. And then you can just peel back the lid. Just like that. And if you're squeamish about touching the beetles or anything inside, you may take the, uh, the clothespin and clip this container directly to a branch. Just like this. And usually I recommend that you find a spot with woolly adelgid like up here and use that. So then you'd be able to take this and clip it right to the tree. But I'm going to show you how to take them out of the container. And they run around the top. You can gently push them back in. But I take this whole center with soft hands out and then I can tuck it anywhere I want on the tree and usually as close to woolly adelgid as you can get it so they can begin reproduction immediately and if you're not ready to release all of them at once you can actually turn the container upside down on the ground or on another branch and the beetles won't likely get out you can take the honey strips out and put them in there if you like or let it go because they're biodegradable and then just gently wipe off the remaining beetles on the gauze if you want to, you can leave the gauze out and recollect it later, but the gauze itself is cotton and it would take much longer to break down in the environment. And then just gently flick out any remaining beetles onto the foliage. Then if you're willing to, and if there might be rain or heavy winds coming in the near future, you'd want to clip, using your clothespin, clip the excelsior to the branch so that it can't fly away. You can tuck the little honey strip inside if there's beetles on it. And that's it, that's your beetle release.